Hello students! Today, we are going to study about the first two operations on sets, the union and intersection of sets. We will also use Venn diagrams to describe and illustrate these two concepts. Are you ready? Consider this situation. Favorite fruit. Regina likes apple, orange, and grapes. Lerna likes banana, strawberry, and apple. These are their favorite fruits. Let Regina's favorite fruits be set A with elements apple, orange, and grapes. And let Lerna's favorite fruits be set B with elements banana, strawberry, and apple. Now, answer these two questions. First, what fruit or fruits do they both like? And second, if Regina and Lerna combine their fruits, what kinds of fruits do they have in all? Let us answer the first question. What fruit or fruits do they both like? Knowing the elements of set A and set B, where set A represents the favorite fruits of Regina and set B represents the favorite fruits of Lerna, as you can see, they both like apple. It is the only element present in the two sets. Pareho nilang favorite si apple. At dyan papasok ang concept ni intersection. The intersection of sets A and B, written A intersection B, is the set containing the elements that are in both A and B. So it refers to elements na present sa parehong sets na kinocompare. Ano yung mga elements na pareho silang meron? Saan sila magkatulad? That is the intersection of sets. Using Venn diagram, the first circle represents set A with elements orange, grapes, and apple. And the second circle represents set B with elements banana, strawberry, and apple. Dahil pareho nilang favorite si apple, si apple ay lalagay natin sa gitna ng dalawang sets na nag-overlap o magkapatong. This portion is the intersection of these two sets. Sa gitna nilalagay lahat ng magkatulad na elements ng mga sets. A intersection B is equal to apple. When A and B have the common elements, then A intersection B is equal to an empty set or a null set. We say that A and B are disjoint sets. Hindi sila nag-overlap dahil wala silang common elements or intersection. Malinaw ba? Next question. If Regina and Lerna combine their fruits, what kinds of fruits do they have in all? By combining the fruits, we form a union of the fruits belonging to either Regina or Lerna or both. Pwedeng paborito lang ni Regina or paborito lang ni Lerna or pareho nilang paborito. Pagsasamahin na lahat. So we have the following. Apple, orange, grapes, bananas, and strawberry. The union of sets A and B, written A, union B, is the set of all elements that are in A or in B or in both A and B. Using Venn diagram, kung kanina kay intersection sa gitna lang, this time lahat na. Eh ma'am, dalawa po si Apple. Si Apple, dahil intersection or common element na siya ng set A at ng set B, hindi na kailangang ulitin. Isang beses lang isusulat. Sabi ko nga sa mga nauna kong lessons, in listing the elements or using the roster method, bawal lang nauulit na elements. So, A union B is equal to orange, grapes, banana, strawberry, and apple. Hindi inulit si apple. Remember, for intersection, the symbol is an inverted U o baliktad na U. At si union, since nag start siya kay letter U, Tandaan, ang symbol niya ay capital letter U rin. Sa intersection, nabaligtad na U ang symbol, yung mga elements na pareho silang meron or the common elements of two sets. Sa union, na letter U ang symbol, you will simply combine the elements. Pagsasamahin, pero bawal na may maulit. Isang beses lang isusulat if may nauulit man. Sana malinaw po iyon. Union and intersection are called set operations because they replace two sets with a third set. Operation sila dahil kapag kinumpir mo yung dalawang sets using union and intersection, may mabubuong another set or yung set na pinakasagot natin. Example, sa addition, 2 plus 3. The operation used is addition. May mabubuong pangatlong number. 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. Gets po ba? 
Let's have more examples. Let A be a set with elements 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And B is equal to a set with elements 2, 4, and 6. Find the intersection and union of the two sets. Number 1. A intersection B. Anong mga elements ang present or magkatulad ni A and B? They both have 2 and 4. So 2 and 4 are the intersections of set A and set B. Next, number 2. How about their union? We're going to combine or pagsasamahin lang natin lahat ng elements ng dalawang set. At bawal na may mauulit. Set A has 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Set B has 2, 4, and 6. Yung 2 and 4 ni set B ay present na kay set A. Dahil yun ang intersection or magkatulad nilang elements. So kahit i-disregard na natin si 2 and 4, 6 na lang ang kailangan ay dagdag kay A. Dahil kapag isinama pa natin sila, mauulit lang yung mga elements. Magiging A union B is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And yung elements ni B, which are 2, 4, and 6. Pag inayos natin in ascending order, it is equal to 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, 4, 5, and 6. May mga naulit na elements, so this is wrong. The correct answer is, A union B is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Isang beses lang sa sulat ang mga elements. Okay ba? Using Venn diagrams, you can easily determine the union and intersection. Sa intersection, yung middle or git ng elements, 2 and 4. Sa union, pagsasamahin lang lahat. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Let's have another set of examples. Let A be a set with elements 1, 3, 5, and 7. B is equal to a set with elements 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8. And C is equal to a set with elements 1, 2, 3, 4, and 6. Answer the following. Number 1, A, intersection B. Anong elements ang parehong meron sina set A at set B? Set A are odd numbers from 1 to 7. Set B are even numbers from 0 to 8. Meron ba silang common elements? Wala. So their intersection is an empty set or a null set. Next, number 2. How about A and C? What are their common elements? Set A and set C both have 1 and 3 as elements. So these are their intersections. Nakakasunod ba? Next, number 3. Set B and set C. Again, what are their common elements? They both have 2, 4, and 6. So the intersection of set B and C are the elements 2, 4, and 6. Next, number 4. Set A unions set B. Iko-combine lang natin lahat ng elements ni A at B na walang nauulit and i-arrange din natin in ascending order from least to greatest mula sa pinakamababa pataas. So we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Pinagsama lang lahat ng elements ni A at ni B at wala rin namang naulit na elements, di ba? And last number 5, B, union C. Combining their elements without repetition, we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 8. Pinagsama lang lahat ng elements ni set B at ni set C na walang nauulit. Malinaw ba? Now, it's your turn. With the given sets M, A, T, and H and their corresponding elements, answer the following. Just pause this video and try to answer this activity. I will reveal the answers in the next slide. Just remember, for intersection o yung baliktad na U, these are the elements na pareho silang meron. And union, with the symbol capital letter U, i-combine o pagsasamahin lang lahat ng elements ng mga sets na compare without repetition. You may now pause this video. The correct answers are... Thank you for watching. Have a great day and may God bless us all.